many of us, myself included, uh, look at the Canada Child Benefit. And historically, what I've done is taking the clawback amount. So for every single dollar that you make of net taxable income uh, above a certain threshold, they actually claw back your Canada Child Benefit by a percentage. And so what I would do and what I've historically thought about is, well, you just add that percentage to your marginal tax rate and that's the effective marginal tax rate. It's not totally wrong, but it actually undervalues what that clawback is worth for the Canada Child Benefit. And here's why. With marginal tax rates, when we put money into an RSP, we're essentially saying, hey, we're going to save that tax or defer it. And then later when we take money out of the RSP, then we pay that tax. Now, here's the thing about the Canada Child Benefit. It actually comes out to us after tax. It's money that you receive in your hand today. And you could put it into your TFSA or do something like that. And so treating an 8% clawback as just an 8% extra tax undervalues the Canada Child Benefit because that 8% is after tax income. So I'm working through how to think about that and how to make it an actual mathematical uh, formula that we can quantify. But the key point is this. If you are receiving Canada Child Benefit, that clawback amount is actually very valuable and it's more valuable than just a marginal tax. More to come. I'll see you tomorrow.